Morning guys. Morning. So today is a big day. We are off to get the wood for our floor. Finally doing the floor. Finally. So we're off to being keen now. We're up bright and early for once in our life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we can grab the floor and then get cracking. So we picked up the wood, 12 mil ply. We've gone for the original flooring and the fan is like nine, 10 mil. So it's a little bit thicker, a little bit more sturdy. And- um, This is yeah. thicker? Yeah, a little bit. This looks so thin. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel really thin, but when it was in there earlier and I stepped sudden on it, it was like solid. Nice. So it should be fine. So yeah, that's got done. We bought a little router, 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 router. <laughs> also that was 28 quid a piece. So. But it was actually cheap, er, because I, I think it was full price thirty two or thirty. Yeah. So still counts Save as not money. paying full price. Save some money. <laughs> um, yeah. So you bought this router, 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 to um, cut the wood with. Basically, my plan is to cut the edging so I can overlap it and then glue it together, um, and then the the seams between each wood piece should be smooth. In theory. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> and then we're going to lay it all down. So we're going to cut it all, lay it all down, get the old flooring to lay on top, trace around trace it, around. cut it out, and then the floor's fitted. It's as simple as that. <laughs> yeah, see how long it bloody takes us. <laughs> okay, so I've got my little setup sorted up here. And I'm going to start the routing, routing routing of this <laughs> edge and see how this goes. Um, if it doesn't work, then we might have to think of a plan B, but should go all right. Well, that went bloody swimmingly. Look at that. You can't see it, but it's beautiful. <laughs> Spot on. So, Philly should really be wearing glasses. I should, it's very bad, don't do this. But I got contact lenses in, so that's sort of protection. <laughs> we do have them, we just stupidly left them at home, so, and we had to get on with it. So the flooring's been routed, routed? Routed. Routed, routed, so router. All been routed, they line up really square. Mm. I think it's a pretty square good. Square enough. <laughs> no, do he's it. done a really good you, job. You can do it next time. No, you've done really well. So now we're going to get the old floor. Um, if only our van was this know, big. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to get the old floor, trace around that, and then cut the shapes out, and that's it. And then we put it in the van, yeah, and then we glue it. And all the boring <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Make sure you keep inside the lines, please. <laughs> oh, Doing yeah. a good job, sweetie. Get in there. Look at all the wasted wood. bad isn't it but hopefully we can do it for the headliner shelf but we'll use it somewhere <laughs> strong boy huh strong boy <laughs> the wind ain't helping me there <laughs> bye bye <laughs> so phil's finished tracing out the old floor um, so he's done it exact at the moment. What we also need to do is account for the fact that we're going to have an overhang on our step. So our kitchen unit that's most likely going to have the sink is going to come out to about here-ish. So we need to cut the floor so that it overhangs a bit. So it feels just sort of over measured a little bit and then he's going to add that bit on before he cuts out the final shape of the floor. How exciting! Nearly done. Nearly there. <laughs> what are you doing? Conk Philly's a pro as you can see. <laughs> Got this. Oh, 
First bit of floor done. Should we go see if it fits? Can do. Try it out, show me. Bloody better, all this frickin' effort. <laughs> Is that the front bit? Yeah. <laughs> Scary. Does it? Does it? <laughs> There's no reason why it shouldn't. <laughs> Perfecto. Happy? I think so. Woo! So we just nipped a screw fix because Phil needs to get... Some wood sealer to and the then, floor. And then we're going to nip home, grab some lunch and then probably finish off at home. But we're so close. Right, we're back at home. Got the wood seal. Take 24 hours per coat, which is yes, fantastic. which I'm annoyed at Philly for, for not knowing and not, not researching. It's not is your problem. problem. It's your problem. It's your problem. It's your problem. You should do some research problem. and yeah, whatever. <laughs> so what we're going to do is to make sure the cuts are good and obviously it all fits properly is we're just going to slot it all in just to make sure and then we'll get to painting. It fits. It does. We have a floor, sort of, for Not, a moment. Yeah, temporary. But it's on and it's perfect. Well, it I could have been tighter, but it's still pretty beautiful. Well, you don't want it, that's, you'd rather it slightly loose than too tight, yeah. I would say. Spot yeah. on that. And we've got a step now as well. Or like a. Oh, yeah, a show the guys step. the step. So, this is the bit that we. This is the bit we cut out earlier from the normal um, floor in which you can see where it would normally end. And we just added this piece here. And we did it a bit too long, I think, because it's not quite a narrow gap, but at least we can cut it down to... Really yeah, because we haven't obviously done our final plan yet, so we don't actually know where it's going to end, but it'll most likely end somewhere like here. Yeah. But better to be safe than sorry, but oh my God, we can walk on it. So we've done this to have as little basically height in the floor as possible. So we've yeah. got thin insulation, but it's filled as much as we can. I'm um, six foot in this. So I'm guessing the same thickness again on the floor for the Yeah, probably. Roof. Not even, it's not going to be that much. So it'll have to come under. So remember guys, fill six foot. So it'll be a little bit under this. We want to try and get the, the top of the roof as close to this as possible. So we don't have to sacrifice any more height. So I'm happy with that. I can even tiptoe a minute, really. <laughs> <laughs> and I fit too. You do. <laughs> Let me just check your height. Come this way. Let's just check your height against the roof. Have I got enough room? Just about. Oh, it's a bit close. You, you could do bloody star jumps, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pleased. You've done such a good job. So I think it's definitely worth buying the new floor instead of using the old one. Definitely. Um, I don't know if we mentioned before, but the old floor has lots of like like grip tape on top, like dimples. Yeah. Because um, we were toying with the idea of keeping it because one, it would save loads of money. Yeah. And two, you said it was lightweight, like lighter than this. Yeah, so it will be. It's a bit thinner, so it's lighter than this anyway. So we toyed with the idea, but then... We watched a YouTube video yeah. on it and someone tried it or has done it and it took them days to to sand it all that back to flat. And it's just, I don't think it's worth it. No, it took them forever. And because we're on a bit... I mean, we don't have a timeline for when we want the we need the van done, but we just yeah. want it done quick. So. This, well, this stuff was stopping us from doing so much more. So. Yeah. so now we're ready to crack on. Yeah, like I feel like things are going to start to hopefully come together quicker now. Yeah. Yay! So next step on today's journey. This. Water sealer. So you have to, you have to protect the underneath of the wood, as well as the top side, which... Um, we didn't think about. I didn't think about. I'll take the blame. <laughs> it's true because I reminded him. Anywho, um, it's logistically a little bit of a nightmare because we've got nowhere inside where we can paint. So we're just going to have to make do and do what we can in the van yeah. because we have to leave it for 24 hours. It's basically if any water gets underneath your wood, like the bottom part of your flooring, it'll absorb into the floor and then your floor will warp and then bad things if ever yeah if you built your whole van on top of that that's a problem so cool anyway so let's get painting
<laughs> so we're almost there with the whatever it's called water sealer stinks doesn't it yeah it smells awful i'm gonna have a migraine after this Lily's just finishing off my engine Lydia, Lydia skips the engine she's not not about that life but we definitely don't think it needs 24 hours do we no the other side is over well that's the other side but that's the first side I did. This side's now wet, and this side looks like it's dry again. Yeah, that's completely dry. So we could potentially maybe just crack on. Yeah, there are some holes in the floor that we need to fill before we lay the subfloor yeah. because obviously the original floor bolted into it. So you're probably just gonna silicone those. Yeah, my original plan was to bolt this floor into the original floors, but it just seemed too complicated, and I didn't really want to have any screw holes to cover up so we've now gone for the gluing method yeah so, so yeah we've got to do that silicone it i've got some of that metal steel stick stuff you could put over the top of it but i don't know what would be better so maybe we can have it all in today no <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Give it a go. it'll be we'll late see. though <laughs> so we finished painting up all of the panels so we're gonna leave them now for 24 hours to dry before we fit the floor and finally have a decent subfloor. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We're, We're back. back, bitches. <laughs> 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 it's the next day. We are back and we're now fully fitting the floor. Yep. So um, it's about what, like half five, something like that. So we're getting it in this evening. Yes. I was slightly worried because we left it laid down and this was like, it was really bouncy and I remembered that we put the cardboard, cardboard underneath, underneath it. Yeah, so it's not going to be even, but let's get cracking. Let's go. So, because we're not bolting the floor down to the floor, got to glue up the holes that are already there. So there's a few, I think it's like six or eight um, holes in the ground, threaded little holes that are going to get just siliconed up so no water can come in from underneath when you're going down the road and it splashes up. Nice. And then shall I patch over the top of that with some liner? Yeah, you could do actually. Put all the wood in. Yeah. Put it all down and then just pick up the pieces that are um, the lips are downward facing. Mm -hmm. So we know it's all in the right spot. Mm -hmm. Pick up those two pieces, glue the edges, and put them down again. And that should be it. Okay, let's go. Makes sense. Makes sense to someone. Brush My brush. Oh, yeah, these are dirty on the oh. He's always making me do the brush in. So, Philly's bright idea. What's that? I don't know, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to glue it down. With? Some Gorilla Glue. Good old Gorilla Glue. It's already gluing itself to itself, which is fun. So we laid all the boards down. And then basically the way I've done the, what's it called? Ro oh, the joint routing. Joint the routing joint is that these, this piece here. In the middle. Faces down. So we can lift this piece up, glue the edges, squish it back down, and it should be in the same place. And then the last bit can go on last. <laughs> because it ain't going on first. Cool. So that's my plan anyway. If it works or not, who knows. laid and it's glued and it's weighed down sort of by the heaviest objects that we own <laughs> yeah <laughs> so fingers crossed it will be flat when we come back tomorrow well, flat enough that you can just file off an edge if you need to <laughs> so we'll come back tomorrow and we will finish off doing the silicone in around the edges and then that's the floor done floor's finished 
floor is done. Yes, it looks so good. Finally, this time has been a long time coming. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But you've done a really good job. So definitely tracing out the old floor on top worked best because the cardboard car that you tried was definitely not yeah. quite right. We put it back in on top of this one to protect this while we were walking on it and it was nowhere near. <laughs> so yeah, definitely yeah. do the old floor. If you can get a hold of one or use one, definitely use it. Glue seems to have worked really well. Yeah, stuck down real well. There's a yeah, there's a little bit of a lip on some of them where the the router 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 what can I router. say it? router <laughs> where the router wasn't quite um, deep enough, but it was very very close. The only thing is, it stinks. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> I made a mistake. So, that stuff that we use to like waterproof yeah. is just oh my, it's, it smells like paint stripper. It's horrendous. It's for outdoor use only, basically. So and it's, it's been a week, week and a half. It's a week now, and it still smells. So it still stinks. I'm not in the, I'm not in your good books. No, because I didn't I, read the instructions or anything. I get migraines. Like any like really strong <laughs> smell gives me a migraine, and this is like it's not good. So I'm hoping it will fade fairly quickly. Yeah. Because otherwise, he's ripping the floor back up and doing a whole new one. <laughs> So that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more van videos. Because we have got so much left to do on this van. So we'll see you next time. Bye guys. See ya.